The Turkish Cap by B.P. Gupta The school bell rang. We rushed out of the classroom. I took the gilly out of my bag and Kunal took the danda. We reached the ground outside our school compound where we usually played. Paresh drew a big circle. Kunal placed the gilly in the center of the circle and took the danda to strike it. The others took their positions. Kunal struck the gilly hard. It flew out of the circle and went quite far. None of us could catch it. Nilesh was the first to reach the gilly. Picking it up, he threw it back with all his strength. Kunal struck hard again. It went flying in another direction. Kunal was too good a player for us. Then Pramod threw the gilly to Kunal. Kunal struck it forcefully towards Brijesh. It should have been an easy catch, but Brijesh missed. Soon, the gilly was flying towards me. I was ready to catch it, but it never came. Instead, there was a lot of noise. A man in a kurta and dhoti was standing in the middle of the playground. His Turkish cap was lying on the ground, upside down, the gilly inside it. The man shouted, You naughty boys! See what you have done! I am sorry, sir, Kunal said promptly. I did not do it on purpose. It was a mistake, but I am very sorry. Why don't you play in your school compound? The man shouted again. Brijesh said, Sir, we are sorry. Our school compound is very small. But that doesn't mean that you should play here, does it? I'll go to your principal immediately. Turning around, he hurried towards the school. I quickly stole a glance at my friends. We were all scared of the principal, Mr. Ahmed. The man went straight to the principal's office. We crept into the courtyard outside the principal's room and tried to guess the conversation and the punishment we would be given. Soon the peon came and called us. One by one we entered the principal's room. Who is responsible for all this? Mr. Ahmed thundered at us. We looked at one another. No one could say a word. Mr. Ahmed said, Why don't any of you speak up? I replied, Sir, we are sorry. We shall be careful in future. Mr. Ahmed said, Apologize to this gentleman, all of you. We chorused. We are very sorry, sir. Okay, boys. The man looked happy and moved towards the door. Just as we were going out, Mr. Ahmed asked, Whose stroke was it? Kunal and I looked at each other. My heart was beating faster and faster. But how could I blame my friend? I decided I would take the blame and opened my mouth. But Kunal was quicker. Sir, it was my stroke. I'm very sorry. What a stroke! Mr. Ahmed exclaimed. You strike the gilly, hit a man's cap, the cap falls, and then the gilly lands inside it. A master player, no doubt. I could not suppress my laughter. But I could not laugh in the principal's presence either. So I settled for a wide smile. We wanted to go out and laugh loudly. The man with the Turkish cap also turned around at the door. He smiled and went away. We trooped out of the room. Then we burst out laughing.